yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the Sav Show. I'm the host of the show. My name is Sav Alien. Yeah, what's going on? Anyway, so I'm I'm fresh out the shower. Uh, I'm looking good. I'm feeling good. I'm smelling good. You know what's up. Uh, I was having a bunch of thoughts while I was in there, actually. Uh, it got me thinking on a bunch of stuff. And as I jumped out, I realized something. I'm like, holy shit, this is so cool that uh, I have my own podcast where I just get to explore my own curiosities and, and my own thoughts and then just like record them whenever I want and put them up into the world and, you know, call it content and be happy with myself that I did so. So anyway, that's what I'm doing now because I was, uh, you know, now I know this is what Alec, now I know what Alex Jones feels like. That motherfucker like, you know, say what, like obviously there's plenty of negative things that you can say about Alex Jones, but that dude has been consistently just like press and record and sharing his thoughts and opinions uh, very consistently over a really long time. And like that part of what he does, uh, you know, you have to kind of respect a little bit. Um, piece of shit of a human, but I digress. Uh, so welcome to the Sav Show. The thing I'm talking about here today is the... Uh, is this thing that's kind of been like repeating in my mind over and over and over again. And it's this idea of um, being a better friend to myself. Now, just to give you some pretext, I have uh, spent a lot of my life, the majority of my life, especially my 20s, maybe my early 30s, shit, maybe even right now. <laughs> um, no, I've spent a lot of time in my life not being a very good friend to myself. And it's one thing that the Stoics like to refer to or, or touch on this concept of just, uh, you know, what have I achieved today? Seneca says, what have I achieved today? Uh, I've been, I've become to be, a, I've become, I've become, a, I've began to be a friend to myself, something like that. Anyway, but it, this idea of like, you know, what else is there to achieve in this life than to be a good friend to yourself? Because at the end of the day, we are our own harshest critics. We, you know, the 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 critic upstairs, he he never sleeps. He's always switched on. He's always ready to, you know, uh, she, whatever they, it's always this this voice in our heads is always ready to to shut us down and cut us down, you know, at a moment's notice, at, at, at the drop of a hat. And to learn to crush or quell or silence that voice is a skill. That's an art form. And I think it leads to this idea of being a better friend to ourselves. Because if we can quiet that, if we can shut out that noise, if we can focus on the things that matter more often than not, then it's going to lead to a healthier, happier life. And one thing that I'm starting to figure out as I get older is, you know, at the end of the day, if I can just wake up happy and just enjoy getting about and and living my life, then boy, you know, one, I'm 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 just I'm I am happy. And two, I'm grateful. You know, there's no expectation. It's like if I can just get up and walk out of my door, you know, I like I got nothing to complain about. I live in the fucking best country on the planet. You know, I have um all of the privileges you could ask for going for me. Um and on top of that, I'm I, I'm I'm living a life that I like. I'm constructing and crafting, and one that I'm proud of. Um, so if I, if if I have all of those things, then man, what else could I want? Like I'm not. I, I don't need anything else. I have everything. Um, and you know that's that's what they say. Like happiness equals um, success. Uh, sorry, success equals um, expectations minus reality. Um, Oh no, sorry. Happiness equals success minus expectations. No, fuck that up. Anyway, I'll write it down below. But it's basically when you when you take away when you take away your expectations from your present reality, reality minus expectations equals happiness or success, whatever. Success equals reality minus expectations. That's what it is. So when you take away the expectations of your current reality. Um, sorry, when you take your current reality, you remove the expectations. What you get left with is happiness or success because 
the thing that generally leads to us being sad or demotivated or depressed or whatever or anxious is an expectation, an expectation that things are going to get better, an expectation that I'm going to get somewhere, an expectation that I'm going to achieve that thing or marry that woman or, you know, make that make that job or whatever uh, or make that make money at that job. Expectation leads to all these wants and needs that, that inevitably make us unhappy and, and, and uh, dissatisfied with where we're at. But if we can just like look at where we're at with gratitude and be like, and that's why I say I use gratitude as a tool, as a weapon, because I use it to look around my world and I go like, this thing right here that I could be depressed about, I'm grateful for it because this is all I got. This is the reality of where I'm at. So rather than let it bring me down, I'm looking at it with joy and love and warmth in my heart because I know that it will lead to me having a better existence. If I can just wake up and I look at this jumper here, this water bottle here, like if I can just look around and be like, do you know what? I'm fucking happy with where I'm at. I'm happy with these things. Then I'm going to feel happier and more joyful and freer when I walk out the, when I walk out the door. If, you walk, if I walk out of the door and I think, shit, I didn't sleep enough. I, I don't have enough money. Uh, I wish I was at a different place in my life right now. I wish circumstances were different. I wish I, wish I didn't do that thing. I wish... You know, if I'm walking out of my door with that kind of energy, then I'm going to take that with me. I'm going to bring that on to the next person. To I'm going to take that to my job, to every interaction. Um, I'm going to make the world a worse place. And I don't want that. I want to make the world a better place. I want to make the world a more joyous, fun, enjoyable place to exist in. And it starts with me. It starts with me being content with where I'm at, being grateful for where I'm at, and me learning to be a better friend to myself because if I can be a better friend to myself, then I sure as hell can go out there and be a better friend to the rest of the world. And if I can do that, then fuck, what else do I need? You know, I'm living, I'm good. Um, that's not to say, and like, don't get it twisted, these things can coexist. It's, it's not to say that I don't want to achieve cool shit. It's not to say that I'm not going to work hard. It's not to say that I'm not going to put myself through through pain and trial to to, to achieve you know, beautiful things to create beautiful things. I'm definitely going to do that uh, because what else am I going to fucking do? But I am happy with where I'm at. I am grateful for what I have. I am grateful for every single thing that makes up my story because it's my story and I wouldn't change it for the fucking world. And that is the key to becoming a better friend to yourself. And that is the key to living a happier, healthier or free life. And um, yeah, it feels good. Anyway, that's it for the Sav Show this week. Uh, I guess I'll catch you guys next week. Let's go. Mm -hmm.